Hey everybody, it's Jerry Bigley. Welcome back to Vault 954. We're taking a look at the Fallout Crate from the folks over at Loot Crate. One of the only, the only uh, Fallout themed mystery box that's actually worth the money. Cough, cough, uh, Vault Tech stash box from Bethesda store. Cough, cough. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> this is the sixth one of the year, I think. I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, this box is... I'll, I'll, I'll give you my two cents on that later. If you're already here, you know what this is. I don't have to explain it. Link's in the description. Go get some. Alright, uh, give you guys first peek at this. I can't see it. Which is kind of point. And instead of looking at a blind and pulling... Actually, I'll do that. I'll pull, I'll, I'll pull out one. Well, t-shirts first. Ooh, a red one. I bet you it's like a uh, Nuka Cola. My blood is in it. And I finally figured out what that is. <laughs> oh no! Ooh, it's it's a rival soda. Vim. You've got Vim. Okay, that's kind of cool. That actually, and, and then one thing I love about the the art uh, direction, the art uh, design. Of, of a lot of the Fallout stuff is that it looks like it could exist in the real world. That's me. I almost dropped my box. Um, that's what I like about this. So that's pretty cool. Uh, of course, it's tank. <laughs> in the actual nerd size, so we're, we're good on that one. So Vim. Now, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that this is more in relation to... New Vegas, um, which I've not played Simulator, but um, I've been playing seventy six again Simulator. Um, I've been enjoying it. I mean, I, I, I when I play, I basically I don't really do the multiplayer aspects of it. I've just been playing it as a single player game, which is basically what I've always done anyway. So because they are all single player games. So next to the pin. <laughs> so this is the Lead Belly Perk. Which is cool. I still want these to be green. Um, so this is oh number seventeen. Okay, so this is great number seaside. Okay, so yes, if you're going to be drinking that seawater, I'm assuming that you're going to need a lead belly for not only the radiation but the salt content. So that'll prevent scurvy. Let's see what else there is. The figurine. Ooh, oh yeah, I know what this one is. Without even looking at it, because I saw it on the website, they actually spoiled it. Which okay, whatever. But this bad boy is Meyer. I thought there was one that was supposed to be a red scorpion, or is it Meyer Lurk? Which, regardless, is pretty cool. Um, and I need something to open it up with. Let's try this this thing here. Which I just I recently went to a combo shop and I actually found the. Um, Rather disturbing looking um, Piper figure that was released a few boxes ago. Um, it's kind of uncanny valley. <laughs> the, uh, the, the the super deformed styling of it doesn't really help anything. Probably the only character it would work really well with. Um, I have the... What is that? <laughs> Power armor. Man, I'm pretty strong. Um... Mothman looked pretty neat, and then this. Now, for one, I would have put the I would have had the one with the um, the mesh or the, the the net on the back. So this is supposed to be uh, it's got the pole in it so that we could stand up proper because otherwise it probably wouldn't. But I don't know. But the faces on these little dudes, man, they they are kind of cute. I mean, I wouldn't want to like meet this thing walking up to me in the middle of some. Darkness, but you know, I mean, it's it's, it's it's got kind of a little cute face to it, a little, little E.T. esque looking something or other, you know, it's kind of cute. So yeah, um, but big gigantic sea bug, but that man, bad boy is. All right, so what else have we got in here? Ooh, 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 what is this? Oh, thanks for being a looter. This this is the cheat sheet, the, the online cheat sheet because. 
Apparently, actually printing this stuff out will be too difficult. So, what is this? This feels... Oh, there's a couple things in here. Do a smaller one first. Okay. This is a... I'm assuming this is just non-branded. But this looks like one of those... Um, Oh, well, maybe this one. Oh, is it like one of the ones in the game? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> hold on. What? I have to. I have to. Do, I have to do the jump cut. I have to do the the smash cut. Hold on one second. Okay, so it's a. Uh, <laughs> it's one of these, and it's like uh, you know, power thing. So this is just shoving the smeg out of my nose. Give me one minute. There we go. Now it look like that. Uh, one Australian guy who opens these things. Um, <laughs> so, what is this? I'm, I'm thinking this is what I... Th it might be what I think it is. That's just the better way of putting it. I think this is a towel. Um, doesn't look like there's anything missing out of here, thankfully, because the way... All right. I'll, I'll complain about that in a minute. Um, which just seems to be like a, a very rather thin... Uh, sort of terry cloth towel. So this is Far Harbor. Um, Unravel Secrets and Mystery of Far Harbor, which is supposed to be. Um, I mean, that's just a nice piece of artwork. Period. Uh, let me see. I mean, this is like something that personally I would rather frame than actually use as a towel, but. Um, Because just because it's it's a nice piece of artwork. I mean, that's just that's like a horror, uh, like a like a pulp novel cover sort of dealy. And there's no way I can take a picture of this with it all in frame. So I do apologize about that. So um, I'm gonna do this, and then I'll, I'll start complaining about the box. Um, <laughs> so the towel, it, it's a nice touch. I don't think this is doesn't feel very absorbent, but nice touch. Uh, the face mask thing, I mean, it's functional and it's themed, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so, um, the pins pin are always nice, although, again, I wish they were green instead of being gold. To me, this is just kind of lazy. That it just, hey, it just cast it all in one color. Um, and, and then the, uh, the alternates are black. Why not make it green like it would appear on the actual Pip Boy? But what else? Um, the figurine. I mean, can, how, how can you? How can you say no to this old dude? This is like he's like looking at you, going, hey, "Excuse me, uh, I need some help. Can you help me, please? I'm, I want to get back to the ocean. Is it this way?" Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, yeah, you can't really. I mean, that's. I feel kind of bad when I got to shoot him in the face because he has got kind of a cute face. So it, it, it's it's slightly cute and slightly uh, kind of spooky. Kind of, kind of um, so regardless, <laughs> the and then the Vim's the Vim soda shirt, Vim drink shirt, Vim not Vim. Um, I gotta look this up because I, I don't know what it is. Um, now compare this to the box. Actually, hold on. Uh, the box actually made by Bethesda out of their, uh, their, was it, the, the gear shop, as they call it. Um, first of all, everything on that gear shop is overpriced, so you can, so because of that, they can reach the perceived value of the box faster with less items. That's why you get, like, a big smeg off mouse pad, and then, like, that's it. Um... So money's worth definite with this. Plus, um, it's just better. <laughs> okay, you get figurines, you get a shirt, and everything else. Anyway, so um, the way this box is put together is doo doo. Let me explain why. This folds in. Okay, that's pretty secure. Okay, right. That's not very secure, even with this tape down here. Okay, fix this, <laughs> right? There's 
no reason why it should be like that. There, they, you can easily put flaps on the sides that go in. They go inside the box. Here. You know, I don't care if this is a shameless plug or not. These guys are awesome. Copy them in any way, shape, or form that you can because they are the kings of this. All right. So, see how this box works? This, this it's got a flap that goes inside, and when it's all closed up, when it's all closed, up, okay. Like you have you have to try, really try to get get in here and get something out. Versus that, you can just sneeze on it and it's done. So you can just open it up with a booger. Um, yeah. Do I like this one? Yes. I get a figure. I got a T-shirt. I, I I have a lot of red T-shirts. I don't know why. Not my favorite color. Green is my favorite color. Do something about that. Anyway. Um. Towel's cool. It's it's cool artwork, even if it, even if it's not functional as a towel for my first, but in my point of view, perfectly fine. This, mind you, the last T-shirt uh, that I got from the last box, and I love it. Um, sadly, I didn't get to upload the last box until just recently. I for, I just straight up forgot. So um, sorry about that. <laughs> so if you want a closer look at everything that was in this box, go here. And uh, you can have a look at it. So, is this worth the money? Yes. Why would you want to pay nearly twice as much for less stuff and less usable items when it comes to Bethesda's gear store? Which is a, they got another one out right now, uh, and it looks like poop. I have I got three of them already. They all do do. There are some cool things in a couple of them, but that's it. Not worth it. Not one. Not. At all, not even worth the price. So, I'm waiting for someone else to upload a video for that so I can look at it and go, yep, dodge the bullet. However, if you get this one, you will not dodge the bullet. You will get a, 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 uh, you will be rearmed, if you will. There, there is, you'll have a full, uh, drum full of bullets. Okay. Oh, <laughs> my analogy fell apart. Uh, much like soggy bread. Um, uh, no idea. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is this is like probably the high point in my week. So, <laughs> um, for multiple reasons. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, again, go get some. If you like this, go get it. You get every other month. Every other month, um, you it's every two months you get a uh, a box and it's full of awesome. I have yet to get a bad item. I got one. I got one item I didn't care for. Two items actually, and they're both in the same box. I think <laughs> one of them could have been from the dang uh, from the vault stash, but um, vault tech stash. But yeah, it, it like it was like a lunch bag that looked like a sugar bombs box of cereal, which. Just give me a cardboard fold-up box of cereal for that, or because of the size, Plamco, uh, mac and cheese. You know, but uh, regardless, good stuff. If you like Fallout, then, you know, that's that's probably why you're here looking at this. But if you want to know if this is worth it, again, I can't stress it enough, go get it. It's definitely worth it. Um, this is one of two uh, subscription boxes I'm keeping. The other one is the one I just showed you, Bam Horror. That's it. I uh, for financial reasons, I had to, I had to strike it down. I had three uh, different band boxes, and I had this going, and that's it. Uh, so I'm down this to these two, and honestly, it's worth every penny. Um, go get it. <laughs> Links in the description. Thank you very much for joining me today in Vault Nine Five Four, and I will see you next time. Bye.